going to take a while to sort this one out. And I, and I don't know which way it's going to go, but you shouldn't write it off. Is Definity or the internet computer. So unfortunately, it was backed heavily by VCs early on. The people who were allowed liquidity on launch had made tens of thousands of percent. And so retail got pretty burnt into that equation. That was ugly and not good and not honorable. I've got several friends who invested in it and they're all locked up still, but there's a bunch of words. So that was not good. What those guys have built, I don't even understand. I can't, you know, I've interviewed um, them. I don't really know, but I kind of figure it's big. It's kind of like, you know, when we first spoke to Charles Hoskinson on Real Vision 2016, 15, you know, it was the same. It's like, man, yeah, it sounds pretty big. I don't know. Uh, and Definity's, you know, it fell 90 something percent. You know, is that a small call option on something? Could it be worth zero possibly? Um, I don't know. We just have to keep our eye because, you know, even though the adoption is exponential, each token has to go through its adoption curve or failure. Um, and we, we don't, you know, that takes a bit more time than we think. While we see the whole space doing this, it's really driven by, current is really driven by Bitcoin, Ethereum, and DeFi. The other protocols, pff, You wild. see that clip right there from Rob Paul, and he talks about how Definity was very exciting, and then the price plummeted. A lot of people thought it was a scam. And here's a tweet that I saw from Tommy Trades. He says that ICP has not experienced true upwards price discovery yet. Only manipulation by the FTX perp at launch. For a protocol so fundamentally solid, growing in devs, positive public sentiment increasing, all the signs we need are there. And this is something we've seen. We've been following internet computing here since basically the launch of the ICP token. And initially, the first six months of the first year after the ICP token launch, a lot of people in the crypto community thought this thing was a scam. And then the whole FTX situation happened and people started to understand that, hey, ICP was manipulated by Sam Bankman fried and FTX. And we've seen people in the crypto space, such as BitBoy Crypto, who was calling ICP a scam earlier in 2022, completely flip his thought on internet computer and affinity, and he's a big bull right now. Check out this clip from BitBoy Crypto. He's talking about exactly what happened with ICP over the past couple of years. Being, the reason why people have a bad opinion of Aptos, the same reason why people had a bad opinion of ICP, it was sabotage at launch. When I went back and started looking, we should, we're, we're gonna do a video on ICP at some point. When, when you go back and start looking at all of the news stories around the launch of ICP, and you start sitting there and you start saying, well, yeah, but like, uh, I remember there was some bad stuff about it. I remember there was some terrible stuff. It was all from SPF. Now that you know that, go look at all the stories around the launch. And a lot of people will point to, I thought this is very interesting. Uh, a lot of people will point to, uh, I think it was Masari that did this research and started showing uh, like how many coins are owned by insiders and the foundation and uh, the, the, the team and stuff like that. And they show ICP to have a similar breakdown to Solana. There's a lot of insiders, a lot of VC money. You guys want to know who the insiders are in ICP? What they consider to be insiders? It's people very early on in the project that worked for the foundation and got paid a very small or a very uh, uh, apt, a very apt amount for the work they were doing, but they got paid in the coin. And then when the coin shot up so high, those people had a lot of money. It, it wasn't where they got paid. They didn't get paid $10 million. They got paid like $20,000 for a project for the token. And the token went whip. Damien, or uh, Dominic, the founder, told me, we never expected this thing to get above $50. FTX pumped it above $200 or $400. Above $400. That's why those numbers look the same. Foundation's a nonprofit. They, I think they have like 25% of the coins or something like that. It's a nonprofit that uses those coins to pay people that work there. It's not some kind of crazy, like, you know, they want you to believe it's some kind of like insider pump and dump. They said never even sold coins. I mean, it's old coins. The team, why, why, why would they? So anyways, just wanted to get into all that because you have to understand the reverberating effects of all this stuff as Sam has done. It, it has not just affected 
uh, you know, investor. So. And as you guys can see, the internet computer dashboard shows that all of the statistics for the blockchain look very good and healthy. The blocks continue to go upward. You can see the transactions per second look really good. But the big metric the Bitcoin bros like to look at is the canisters dApp smart contracts built on top of internet computer. Over the past year, while the price has continued to go down and down and down, continue to hit new lows, it's gone from around 30,000 smart canisters all the way up to 244,000 smart contracts. That shows a lot of developer activity and year over year growth. That is just astronomical. We could really see some huge applications come out here over the next couple of years that could really get some mainstream attention. And we're not the only people that believe in internet computer and Definity. Check out what Vitalik, one of the co-founders of Ethereum, has to say about Definity. What is the most promising ETH competitor in your eyes? In terms of like things trying to do like general computation, I mean, I've... I tend to find Definity pretty technically competent. Definity does can like really contribute to kind of the leading edge of the space, and that's yeah, something that I no. really respect. And if you guys haven't yet, check out some of these apps built on top of internet computer. A lot of them function just like Web2 applications. You can come over here, you can see some of the different type of apps they have. These are the different categories. If we just check out social, you can see we have big apps like Discover. This is like a decentralized version of Reddit built on the IC. You have District, that's like LinkedIn. You have DSocial, this is like YouTube. ICP Meet is like a Tinder on ICP. I actually haven't checked that one out yet. You have Go Benzinga. This is a decentralized short video platform on IC. So there is just so much going on. It goes on and on and on. I mean, there's just so much to check out on all these different applications, guys. So make sure to check them out. There's games, different categories, a lot of NFT platforms. So make sure to check out all that. And this is what's going to help internet computer in the future. If some of these apps go mainstream, this is definitely going to help the ICP's token price in the future have more utility. So that's something to think about as well. So as you guys can see, Definity has superior tech and the whole crypto industry is starting to look at the internet computer token and also Definity in a different light. They don't think this is just some scam, some huge pump and dump. They see the applications. They see the developer activity. They see that Definity has been very strong during this bear market and they're seeing continued growth. So this is an altcoin that could have huge potential over the next couple of years because of how far down it came in price. But this is not financial advice, guys. It's just our opinion. And thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you found any value, make sure to hit that like button. My name is Aaron from the Bitcoin Bros. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one and have a great rest of your day.